Hello my good people, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. It all depends on where you are hearing us from. From here is a good afternoon. Now, Asari Dokubo is on the lips of every one of us, like Igbo people, Igbo nation, beer friends. Asari Dokubo is just, you know, behaving as there is nobody born of a woman that can deal with him. And he has been into this terrorism against the Igbos for a very long time, unknown to us unknown to us many have gone asari dokobo hiding on uh, you know on the carpet of islam uh, fulani killing our people he has finally confessed that he's the one behind the death of many Igbo youths now this is what Owazurike has to tell Ndebo concerning uh, Sari Dokobo and I know it's an interesting video that you will listen to the end of it to know what he has just said. Thank you. Let's go there. There's nothing wrong okay, if you want to know my opinion on issues. I have always said that anything involving Biafra's or Biafra's struggle I will never come to the social media to condemn or to discuss. I said that their friends should have a platform <coughs> where the organizations will come together to discuss through their representatives. I'm not in support of uh, coming on the social media to attack one another or to criticize anybody but if anything happens we'll say you haven't said something why not say something not remembering what your position is some people even came to say um uh was we can decide the kubo uh, a meeting to do this and that and they want me to talk <coughs> they want to hear from me then they have to overreach me by telling lies you always want me to say something and you know if you tell lies against me I will put a rebuttal I come out to say you are a liar then Wazika has spoken. You have made Wazika to speak. There was a time a woman in South Africa came up to say, I saw the Kuba and uh, Wazika conspired and uh, brought him and the Kano uh, from uh, camp. I made a video. I said, That was lies. I saw the Kuba also said, Yes, he did it, but not with Wazika. That if you want to accuse, you should accuse him. So please, I want to tell you people, separate me from anything Asari to Kubo. I think that's what you want to hear. And that is the perfect truth. I don't even have Asari to Kubo's number on my phone now. For the past three years, I've not spoken with Asari to Kubo. Ask him. We don't talk. So if you have any problem with Asari the Kuba, go and sort it out with him. And he has always told you that. I had him say it in the social media. That you should come and fight him if you can. You have guns. He has guns. He shows his own. Kuro Kuro brandishes it on social media. He's not hiding it. Why not face somebody who is facing you? And I said, no, was Rike. Should was Rike do your fight? I'm a non-violent crusader, known all over the world for non-violence. I remember the day I was speaking, speaking with Rap Bonche. I was on this seat when he called me to say that the world knows me for non-violence. I said, he's an American. The secretary of a uh, uh, UNPO. I never knew him before then. I'm recognized as a non violent crusader all over the world. So don't blackmail me. If you have any issue with Asari Dukubo, 
Face him. He's ready to face him. Don't bring him over as wicked. Right from the word go, around, uh, around the year 2000 or so, I was in Port Harcourt for about a year, consulting the Niger Delta people. I met Asari Bukubo. He told me that he doesn't believe in non-violence. He told me that something like uh, Biafra or something shouldn't come through non-violence, that Nigerians hear only one word, and that's the language of uh, uh, force. That's what he told me. So, he has never worked with me on that platform of non-violence because he told me he doesn't believe in that. And when he was doing the struggle for Niger data, he was not adopting non-violence. He was using arms and ammunition. You saw him. And up to today, when he talks, he shows you that. So why should you include Wazirike? And someone is saying um, he has it on good information that Wazrike is uh, um, aligning with Asai Rukubo to kill Ndibo. Because you want to you want to create a, a followership on your platform by telling lies, putting Wazrike's name. And you know if you say it was you must talk. If you have evidence, bring it now. That's what you people do. There are the uh, one man who says he's a prophet uh, came up to say Wazuke has a um, stroke because Wazuke has not been talking. You push you respect me. I'm not your mate. You see, in all these things, this uh, distraction. At a certain point, uh, we agreed that. Uh, there were so many rancors in, a, in the struggle for the Afro that we should all come together, have an umbrella platform for the Afrans. Then they form the de facto government or whatever. They called me and said, anything together is fine. I, I believe in it. But when we came together, I saw the purpose was to criticize them and they cannot every day. I said, no, 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 no. I won't be part of it. I left. Since then, I have never spoken to any of them by phone, by any means. I don't have time. I'm very busy. So, if you have any problem with anybody, I can't be speaking every time on things that are not important. Of late, I've been talking about the the cameras was released. And that's what I think is. Important. It should be important to any uh, Biafran organization if you are truly talking about Biafra. No matter any internal problem we have, if one of us is held, all of us are held. If one of us is detained, all of us are detained. I cannot because I had some misunderstanding with him some time ago. If he's Incarcerated, I will fight to the net to make sure that he's released. I begin to ask myself if we took away our life and uh, this situation happens, what will he do? He will fight for the person. And I represent Ojuku today because he handed over the struggle for Biafra to me. So anybody in this struggle today is under me. I should fight for the person, more than any other person. And of course, that's why you want to tag me, you want to put me in my name, because you know the importance of Owasurike in the Biafra struggle, the new Biafra struggle. Because naturally, I cannot talk about you, I cannot wake up to start discussing you, or attacking you. Because I don't know you. I begin to ask myself, why must a court of competent jurisdiction ask that Nandi cannot be released and is still in detention? Why must people like Ohaneze, people like me, people like the governors ask for his release and he's still detained? That's what 
worries me. Not distractions of uh, what uh, an individual said, what he did not say. That doesn't bother me. The Supreme Court has taken adjournment for four months, citing the election. The election is, today is at the Court of Appeal, presidential election, not in the, at the Supreme Court. And the people didn't see the snag, the game plan in it. Now they are talking irrelevant things, discussing irrelevant issues. If the Supreme Court thought election would distract them, why not ask that they can be transferred to the operation and center? Then we finish with the election. What is the Supreme Court doing today? They are not doing anything. Because after the Court of Appeal has finished its own part, that can go to the uh, Supreme Court. If there is need for that. But that they use it as excuse to take four months adjournment. DSS dungeon is not where someone should stay. I have been there for six months, and that six months was like ten years. Because it's solitary confinement. It's against the law. In law, there's a limit to which one could be kept in solitary confinement. Not this longer length of time. It doesn't worry your people. What worries your people is gossip on the social media. Blackmail, propaganda, nonsense. Don't put my name there. Do your propaganda. I will never, never come out to challenge you on the methodology you want to use to achieve Biafra. If you want to violence, you think Biafra could be gotten through violence, go ahead. But what we can say is Biafra could be gotten through non violence, and that's not by it. Don't incommode me. I don't uh, believe in all these uh, cock and bull stories. I have things I'm working out for. If uh, the whole of Ohaneze and prominent people, sons and daughters, ask for the release of Runa Mekan and the federal government couldn't grant it, then what they could grant is an individual who says Runa Mekan should not be released. Then we look at them now. If I say the government goes to uh, Abuja to say, uh, Anna Bekan should not be granted a bail or should not be released. His opinion cannot over our way or, or to be the opinions of all of us, but our hands and both people like me and all that, including the governors. Why should I discuss that? That's his private opinion. At the point, Sir uh, Kuba was at the forefront of uh, the Biafra struggle, saying, I'm a Biafra, I'm an Igbo, I have Igbo blood, all this. At what point now has it changed? You ask yourself that question. Because when you are pointing at a one a few finger on someone, the rest are pointing against you. They were working with you at the point. He was training your security at a point. You bore it. I uh, saw on the social media when some of you were depicting him as a pig. Didn't you? You tell yourself the truth. But today, you are fighting with him now. It happens. In a struggle like this, there's always implosion. But it doesn't take away the objective of the struggle. Didn't you people classify me as a saboteur and all that over time? Is it not what you are doing to assign the global today? Are you better? Even in your own organization, how many factions do you have now? Eh? If somebody in your organization can come up to say the Prime Minister, Prime 
Prince have taken over the place of uh, um, Nandi Khan. Because the Prime Minister is, uh, is supposed to be number one. Then if you are number one, what is Nandi Khan in prison? It, number two or number three, which means you have overtaken him, you have taken up the platform. And I think that was what uh, Asai Koko is saying, that is making you declare war against him. Go to Niger Delta and fight him, and don't mention Wazulike's name. I have nothing to do with you, uh, all this uh, uh, rubbish. If you are knowledgeable, all dear friends, we should come together and talk about the release of Nandi Khan who was held in detention. After his release, we can still go hellfire to disagree. That's the best thing to do. And not uh, uh, the best people you will kill, the best people you do this and that, and you are not even in Nigeria, you are somewhere. The, the money, the contribution you can do is to send money to people, young boys, give them problem money, draw, then they start uh, killing people for you. And you think that is what was written, is doing too. I, I'm too decent to do that. If we have such an army that can wipe out the whole Niger Delta and why not use it, go to Abuja and bring that to Nandi Khan? For how long now have you done sit at home in the uh, southeast in order to bring that in and down? For almost two years. It has never worked. And up to today, somebody is doing sit at home. Is it for the interest of Unami Khan? You ask yourself that question. Certainly not. Nobody will say it, but I'm saying it. If you are doing sit at home today to say it's because of Unami Khan, you are a bloody liar. You are doing it for your selfish interest. Those who are fighting for the rights of Nandi Khan are not even talking. Don't, uh, don't mention what's the case now. I am the founder of the new Biafra. Not you. You were not there when I did it. You are making money out of it today. Through my sweat. Most of you Nandi Khan I don't know any of you. I don't, I don't have need for you. But you mention my name with respect. Please. I don't want this. If you are doing your thing, do your thing the way you want to do. Why must I discuss with Asari the Kobo to kill the Alphas or jihadists, blah, 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 on social media? I come and enjoy, I come and join issues with you on social media, leaving the subject matter. If you have idea of how Nami can can come out now, we discuss it, we talk about it, whatever it takes. I talk, I contribute, and not irrelevant matters. If somebody says that his forefathers or grandparents sold their forefathers, you answer him now. What's my business? Am I not an evil man? If uh, Asari Dukobo says that uh, his parents sold uh, Ndibo, I wasn't there when his parents did that. But certainly today, he cannot sell Rafa for Wazuriki. <laughs> That's how it is. And uh, I also read the history. I didn't hear when uh, people from Bamiri came to the uh, South East uh, to kidnap people to sell. There are brothers also who brought such people and went to the coastal area where the ship were in order to sell them. So, without our people here, maybe kidnapping or abducting their fellow men, taking them to such places, the river area, it will have been possible. So, I don't, such things don't bother me. But before you complain, Think of the one you have said to that person. When you say somebody is a kid, you want to make him angry. Then he says that his father parents sold their own parents. He wants to make you angry too. Then he starts flaring, forgetting the one you said. Yoko wanted me to talk. I don't talk. He wanted me to say, I have nothing to do with Asari Biko. Certainly no. I have nothing to do with him, with all these things he's saying. How can you say Nandi Khan cannot come out? For what? 
He must come out. Monkey will fight, but his mama like him. Why would he come out? If you say that your parents sold my parents, I said my, my parents also sold your parents. You want me to talk? I think I don't talk now. Please don't tell lies with my name. Do your deal. If we talk of insecurity in the southeast today, we know those person there. Those who are bringing money, contributing money abroad, sending to our people here to be killed in order to kill people. Because when you kill, the security agencies will be looking for you. They will kill you. You kill evils. You are killed also as an evil man. Where have we gained? How has it helped the struggle? You ask yourself the contribution you are making. Then you keep it aside to point that prison physical on another person as somebody killing. Why are the actual person doing the killing? Why are they fighting abroad? May God judge all of us. Thank you.